Good morning everyone. My name is Nur Atila bin Abdul Razak, the Chief Executive Officer of Johnson & Johnson's Nuria Berhad. I'm here to address recent concerns regarding Johnson's baby powder. I recognize that this is a difficult time for everyone involved and I would like to begin by expressing our deepest gratitude to those who have been affected. We take this situation extremely serious and are working as seriously to resolve it. In the meantime, I want to assure you that the customer safety is a priority for us. Several additional safety measures have been implemented and we will continue to closely monitor the situation. As everyone knows, Johnson & Johnson has recalled 33,000 bottles of baby powder after the Food and Drug Administration said it discovers evidence of chrysotile asbestos in a bottle purchased from an online retailer. We admitted that, this it has, that it has used talc from mines that have been contaminated with asbestos. Now, we announce Johnson & Johnson's Sinurian Berhad has discontinued sales of our talcum baby best powder globally in 2023. This decision was made after years of legal challenges and mounting evidence that talcum powder can cause cancer. This action was also taken for the sake of our customers. Our company has paid billions of dollars in damage to the people who filed the lawsuits to our company. Um, we believe the crisis will persist for several more years and our company continues to face thousands of lawsuits. The crisis had a significant impact on the financial performance of the organization. Since the beginning of the crisis, the stock price of the company has dropped by more than 30%. The regions impacted by the J and J carbon crisis that received a great deal of attention or had an effect on the company's operation. Okay, so the crisis occurred when a cancer patient claimed the talcum was contaminated with asbestos and we ceased using the ingredient in North America in the year of 2020. Due to this, our company has been instructed to terminate operation globally by 2023. That's all that I have at the moment. Uh, a timeline of the event that occurred during the J and J Carlton crisis, including the date that the com uh, that the complaints were filed, significant change, and the chronology of the company's response. All right. So thus, the events of that time occur in the midst of 2020. After recalling some packages in 2019, our company will discontinue sales of the of its talcum-based baby powder in North America in 2020. But worldwide sales will end in 2023. Our company has received over 40,000 petitions, the majority of which were filed by women with ovarian cancer or mis or mesothelioma and we sincerely apologize to all of our victims. We acknowledge that Johnson & Johnson sells second baby powder while being aware of its potential asbestos, contamination and other health hazards. Our decision to switch to Constash was a result of a continuous review of our product portfolio and was intended to simplify its product offerings and accommodate evolving global trends. It also reaffirms its position on the safety of baby powder. Our company was hit hard by the crisis, so we had no choice but to create a budget pay to boost corporate sales. Since the issues had been identified and the company had agreed to pay $8.9 billion to settle thousands of claims that the baby powder did indeed cause cancer, we decided to establish the plan because our company had sustained a significant amount of harm as a result. Given that the stock's price has fallen by more than 30%, we will also search for ways to save money. In order to modify our sales strategies and gain trust of customers, our team will contact our suppliers and request that they will block all upcoming inventory. Our strategy will be activated and put into action in the following department to ensure that the plan is being carried out appropriately. We have taken the necessary steps to collaborate with the Public Relations Department to design a statement that will publish on the official website regarding our, re, our declaration of agreement to pay back the damage we face. Please know that we will have a conversation with our Public Relations team and working closely with the media to ensure that the message our company conveys is accurate. We wait so long to recall products are continuing talk. 
Again, we made the decision to stop selling talcum-based baby powder globally in 2023 as part of our worldwide portfolio assessment. Now, we already started selling baby powder using cornstarch in countries around the world. Talcum is a natural occurring mineral that is commonly used in cosmetic and personal care products. It is important to note that talcum has the potential to contain asbestos, which is a recognized concentrate. We understand that there have been studies suggesting a potential link between the use of talcum-based feminine hygiene products and increased risk of ovarian cancer in women. However, it is important to note that the scientific community has not yet reached a consensus on this matter and further research is needed to fully understand any potential issue. We encourage individuals to speak with their healthcare providers about any concern that may have regarding the use of these products. For many people have filed lawsuit against Johnson & Johnson alleging that their top best baby powder cause cancer. We understand that there are a significant number of individuals who have filed lawsuits against Johnson & Johnson alleging that top best baby powder cause cancer. However, we cannot comment on ongoing limitation or specific allegations. We remain committed to the safety and well-being of our costume, customers and will continue to defend ourselves against these claims. Various lawsuits have been filed by women who have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer, mesothelioma and other types of cancer. How much money um, has Johnson & Johnson paid in settlements uh, related to the top based baby powder lawsuits? As a company, Johnson & Johnson has taken responsibility for addressing the concern raised by Talker baby based baby powder lawsuit. To date, we have paid over $4 billion in settlement related to this matter as of March 2022. Uh, what action does Johnson & Johnson take to protect consumers from a danger of talk? We appreciate your interest. However, uh, we cannot provide information on that particular matter at this time. Thank you for your understanding. We are currently involved in a legal matter and concerning the safety of our and therefore it would not be appropriate for me to provide any comments on the matter at this time. We would like to assure you that Johnson & Johnson is fully committed to ensuring the safety of our products for our cons cons consumers. We prioritize collaboration with regulatory bodies to ensure that our products meet the highest safety standards. Why did Johnson & Johnson delay so long to recall products that are containing talc? We understand that there may be concerns regarding the timing of the recall of our talcum based products. You can trust that this decision was made after careful consideration and evaluation of all available information. While we had sufficient evidence to support the safety of talcum, we also had to take into account the apprehension of our consumers. To take into account the apprehensions of our customers, we acknowledge that certain individuals may find our approach suitable and we ensure they are prerogative to maintain a spectacle stance. Our organization is dedicated to taking all necessary measures to restore the confidence of our customers and we will persist in our efforts to achieve, to achieve this authentic faith almost two years. What start have been what start have been implanted for customers impacted by the product? We have taken the initiative to establish a fund of one hundred experience harm as a result of our product. The fund will be already cancer of um mesothelioma subsequent to the use of by a third party administrator. We appreciate the user's recognition of Johnson and Johnson's financial commitments, including the one hundred million fund and the 4.7 billion settlement. What measure has been taken to ensure the welfare of customer while the product is still being manufactured? We acknowledge the recent suggestion by the Food and Drug Administration FDA for manufacture of tackle powder to include a warning label regarding the potential risk of ovarian cancer. Over companies stick to the FDA's recommendation of utilizing processionary labeling as a means of information consumers about potential hazards even in cases where the evidence may be inconsistent. 
example of specific departments such as the PR department, uh, legal department, finance department and safety department, what will each of you do to preserve the reputation of your company following the crisis? I appreciate your concern regarding potential future risks. Please note that our finance department is taking proactive measures to address this matter by conducting a true review and revision of our risk management procedures. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. Our organization understands that the importance of risk management and it is committed to taking all necessary steps to ensure that our policies and procedures are up to date and effective. We will conduct a comprehensive risk assessment and implement any necessary changes to our risk management tools and technologies to mitigate potential risk. We are committed to improving our communication and transparency with all stakeholders, including employees, investors, and customers. We appreciate your suggestion on how to enhance our communication with stakeholders. We assure you that we are committed to providing regular updates on our financial performance, communicating our risk management strategy, and responding promptly and trustfully to any inquiries from stakeholders. We appreciate your feedback and understand the importance of transparency and trust in regards to the safety of our products. As a safety department, we are committed to upholding these values and we continue to prioritize open communication with our customers. It is our company's policy to provide complete transparency regarding the potential risks associated with our products, regardless of their magnitude as well as the safety testing protocols and outcomes. We acknowledge the importance of transparency and consumer safety. Henceforth, we will ensure that our customers are well informed about the potential hazard associated with our product and we provide clear and consistent guidelines on their safety risks. Our company is committed to providing customers with comprehensive information about the ingredients of our products and any associated risks. We assure you that, you that we are committed to conducting further research on the safety of our products with a particular focus on those intended for women, our research encompass, encompasses comprehensive investigation into the enduring impacts of our product as well as through analysis, analysis of their potential interaction with other sub, substances. As the legal department, we promise that we will be more proactive. This includes identifying the potential legal risks such as lawsuits, regulatory investigations, and damage to the company's reputation. Facing this crisis right now, my team plans to change the company's policies and procedures. The legal department will recommend that the company change policies and procedures in order to prevent future crises. This could have included changes to the way the company makes and tests its products, the way it markets its product, and the way it handles customer complaints. So that's all. Um, if any of you guys have any more questions, there will be another session, which is for um, our PR, that he, she will be answering all of those questions. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm Norma Kisha Pina, a public relations manager for Johnson and Johnson Company. Can you explain the approach that GMG generally takes when the when dealing with media inquiries? For all media inquiries, uh, Johnson & Johnson dedicated media relation team is uh, available to assist you. Our team is committed to delivering precise and re reliable information to the media. Uh, we collaborate closely with other departments in our organization to ensure that all inquiries will are handled with the utmost efficiency and professionalism. Regarding the safety of our baby powder products, there have been some um, recent media reports that have raised concern. Our dedicated media relation team swiftly addressed the aforementioned reports. The company has released an official statement in response to concern raised by the public. The statement outlined the company rigorous safety testing procedures demonstrating our commitment to ensuring the safety of our customers. The press conference uh, was held to shed light on the studies discoveries concerning the crisis. Our dedicated media relations teams work closely with various corporate departments to gather crucial information on the matters at hand. Our team work closely with our esteemed scientists and legal professionals to ensure a precise and true response. Our company values transparency and openness with the media and we are committed to fostering strong relationship with media professionals. 
Our company has proven track record of successfully navigating through challenging times and upholding our reputation as a reliable and dependable brand. What is the future of Johnson & Johnson Baby Powder? Uh, we currently plan to maintain the distribution of our cornstarch based baby powder in various countries globally. What will each of you do to preserve the reputation of your company following this crisis? Thank you for bringing up such an important topic for discussion. Our public relations team is dedicated to providing exceptional customer service and addressing any concern that our value consumer may have. We strive to be responsive and attentive to all feedback and are committed to, con to ensuring that our customers are satisfied with their experience. We are pleased to announce that our team has taken proactive measures to address consumer concerns by implementing a comprehensive system for collecting and investigating complaints. Our top priority is ensuring the safety and satisfaction of our value customer and we remain committed to taking swift action to address any issue that may arise. Our cutting edge system is designed to efficiently report and track safety concerns ensuring that all potential hazards are promptly addressed. Our innovative system empowers customers to report any concern they may have about our products. By, by using this system, we are able to um, effectively track and address any issues that may arise, uh, ensuring the highest level of certification for our value customers. We are currently evaluating our product, offerings and making strategic uh, decisions to ensure that we are providing the best possible solution for our customers. And as part of this process, we have decided to discontinue certain products. We remain committed to delivering high quality products. We understand the concern um, and are commi committed to address them promptly. Rest assured, we have taken steps to ensure that such an occurrence will not happen again. We appreciate your presence at our press conference. Thank you for your available and attention. For any further inquiries, please feel free to contact me as the company re representative. And we appreciate the opportunity to connect with you and value your time. We give you our warmest greeting to all of our value media and wish you a wonderful day ahead. Thank you so much.